What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I just got done watching Damozel. Okay, so I did enjoy it. I also do understand what the critics are saying. It ended up being like really, really draggy at some points, especially when she was in the cave. And then it got really weird when she started seeing like, guys, before I go on, this is a spoiler review. So please, if you haven't watched the movie and you're interested, go check out the movie. But yeah, it got to a point where she started seeing ghosts of previous girls that were sacrificed. Look, I'm, I'm jumping all over the place. So basically, the movie starts off with the girl being a princess from another place, village or whatever. It doesn't show her having any backstory of like what she can do, which is really interesting. I was thinking, you know how they normally do, the girl or guy would have like a, you know, you know how they did even um, in, uh, what's that movie, Hunger Games, you know, um, Cat, Catmus, oh, I forgot her name, is it Catmus, Cat, Catmus, whatever. She used to like use arrows to hunt and stuff. So she had like skill already. So when she's using her arrow skills in the Hunger Games, you're like, oh yeah, yeah. We already know she could do that. But with Damsel, it didn't, she didn't have any skills. It didn't show that she had any skills. She was just like really high strong and wanted to be like feminism, whatever. The premise was really good. She got called to, to get wed to a prince. She goes unwillingly, but her father makes her go. Of course, we had the diversity. That diversity was a little bit weird, but they explained it later on, like her mom was black. Her dad was was white, but then they explained it later. Oh, she's she's stepmother. Doesn't matter. We all know it's it's, it's a box, tick box thing. You know, it didn't make sense. They could have just made anyway. Doesn't matter. So she gets betrothed. She goes to the country with her dad. She hits it off with the prince. So they really threw me off with that. I thought, oh, the prince is not in on it. Because remember, I'm using trailer mind to judge what's about to happen so i thought oh but the prince probably are in on it only to find out that the prince wasn't on it and he was the one who threw her into the, the dragon's den she survived the fall which is crazy <laughs> even though again the fall can be explained it's not like too crazy where she it's not like she just dropped drop drop bang on the floor it, she you know whatever but it was still something that you know would have been difficult for her to survive or at least not have broken bones all over her legs and body and then yeah she she gets into the cave and all sorts of weird stuff happens she's escaping in weird ways this is what i'm saying like the premise is really good but the execution is not great they could have executed it in a way where it would have been it would have been believable and then we would get behind the damsel basically because we're like oh my god we want her to survive we were just watching like yeah let's see what happens next rather than like oh we want her to survive anyway cut the long story short it turns out what was it a king raided a dragon's den some years ago and killed all the dragon eggs so the dragon that's there right now vowed to kill his generations every every so often i guess every century i don't know he, he basically has to be he has to they have to sacrifice their blood so when we saw in the trailer that they cut her hand that was the blood that was supposed to be like the blood whatever because they put their blood on the blood of the bride basically they've been tricking the dragon which is interesting <laughs> the tra and the dragon couldn't tell that was weird how did this is a primal dragon like with smell and sense of sound or whatever whatever but he couldn't tell that they were feeding him wrong blood i'm sure like once he bites the people and the blood goes into him he'll probably know but oh, no, i don't know i don't know but yeah they've been tricking him giving him like rides from all over different villages and countries around them for centuries and he never found out so our damsel manages to escape somehow because Another weird thing that kept happening was that she kept ripping off her clothes and her clothes were becoming like she was becoming more free because she had the wedding gown on. So the more she rips it off, the more she turns into Xena Boreal Princess and she uses the pieces of her cloth to do stuff in the cave, basically. Like she had like a glowy lantern thing that was made out of like creatures and the 
cave and they could have really gone crazy with the cave you know because like there could have been different kind of stuff that she could have found in there she could have had like mysteries resolved in there none of that happened it was just ghosts of people who have died before meh she escapes goes back to the palace we end up finding out that the dad sold her out but felt guilty and came back to save her because he needed to save his country. So he took all the gold and sacrificed her. So he knew the whole time. Anyway, he came back to save her. I thought that was a bit silly with the dad. Mum, stepmom was like solid for the whole movie because she knew something was up and she wanted it to stop, but the dad couldn't be stopped. Anyway, she goes back. She then becomes like full blown Khaleesi. Like she had the dragon right behind her. She told the dragon everything so he knows and then he <laughs> she goes drag it she doesn't she doesn't say drag it but um he, he the dragon destroys the kingdom basically and that was it <sighs> it's a weird movie guy i like you you i want to love it but like the execution of some of the stuff they were doing was just like oh this movie could have been so good so yeah it was like a almost good movie but it just didn't get there so, but yeah, it's it's a movie that I would probably watch once or twice. I enjoyed it, but when I'm watching, I'm like, oh, how did that happen? Oh, how? So I'm still questioning things, but I really like the premise of the movie. So yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I think I recommend watching it at least once. It is slow once she gets into the cave because they're not they weren't making it too. It wasn't too like suspenseful, if that makes sense. So you're just watching and waiting and seeing whether the dragon's gonna eat her. And sometimes the dragon just has a chance to destroy her, but he didn't. He was like, you know, just playing with his food. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, guys, I do enjoy, I did enjoy the movie. I think you guys should give it a watch. It is um, okay. It's not like the worst movie ever. Uh, it's okay, basically. I think it has some symbolisms on it. Like the girl, you know, she wants, she wanted to, she wanted to be, she was very like feminist type, but she still went off and got married anyway for her father. So it wasn't really feminism, technically. Even though the reviewers were kind of focused on the feminism part of the movie and the ripping up of the clothes. And the ripping up of the clothes just didn't, it was like, oh, okay, all right. It's symbolism, I guess. But she wasn't really a feminist because she actually went off and got married because of her father and because of her village or whatever so it wasn't one of those things where where they overly like patriarchy never get married it wasn't anything like that so um the movie was okay to me anyway guys have you watched it it's been out for a while i think it's been out since march according to the trailer do you agree with the reviewers or are you on my team where you're just like, oh, it's okay. It's a good movie that you can watch. It's not a big deal. It's not like committed cinema crimes. <laughs> I thought it was okay. I thought it was okay. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Before I go, please remember I have a relationship channel, Angel Lynn. Please go over there. I give relationship advice to young people, young Christians to try and like disabuse our mind from the current day red pill versus feminism and all that stuff. Just have a normal relationship with a normal guy or normal girl and get on with it. That's basically the aim of that channel. And of course, if you enjoyed my review of Damsel, give me a like, comment and sub to my channel. Guys, I'll see you in my next video.